Hey everyone, welcome to Fribesca New Zealand again. Um, we got another topic today, uh, nail guns. So in front of me you see three different nail guns. Um, pretty much all of them do the same application. We are installing those standing sim clips with those guns. Back in the days we had always those Hubble nail guns or Fosco with um, 15 degree pitch nails. So it's that sort of the old style. They have a bit of a roughened surface on top. Um, that's what we used to use with that gun here. 15 degrees. And new are those pass load nail guns. They come out of the back in the days of um, The idea of those two guns, obviously, that one here, battery powered, that one is pneumatic with air, connected air. For big jobs, you would use a pneumatic gun or multiple pneumatic guns. If you do wall cladding and stuff like that, very ideal because you hang the hoses over the scaffold and bring them down the inside so you can pull them up and down. Um, this one here is more designed for small jobs and flashing installation, quick easy walk around, put your, all your flashings, silk jam, head flashings, stuff like that and put them on with those guns. Um, what we got here in front, you can see that maybe in the video, I hope you can see that, there are two different nail heads. Um, that one here is a normal um, nail with the chamfered edge and flat on top. The idea of those nails here is that the clip or the fixing is actually sliding on top. So you got the next panel sitting on top here. Um, so here the standing seam panel with the clip on here. And shoot a couple of nails and you don't have to aim. You aim for the holes but if you don't hit them it doesn't really matter. Um, but you need two nails in each clip. Three holes, three nails. Um, but those nails here have got a chamfered edge, so you don't have anything sticking out. The same, all our clip have got rounded edges on it. Same reason, so you don't scratch the back of the panels. So color steel, very important, so you don't have any rust marks on the bottom of the pen. All right. Then we go over to those nails here. They have got a flat head, but they've got a um, Torx 15 insert in the middle, so that's what we call a hybrid um, screw nail. So you can shoot them in, but you can drive, undo them with the um, drill, so you can take them out of the substrate. Um, the reason for those ones here is that you have a higher pullout rating um, than on a normal nail, obviously. Um, both nails fit in both of those guns. They both are zero degree nail guns. Um, doesn't matter if you use screw nails or nails with the chamfered edge, they both fit vice versa into those guns. The reason for that is that you, if you're a business with multiple, use multiple different job sizes, um, you can use a pneumatic one or use a battery powered one, um, vice versa, depends on the size of your job. The big, big, bigger jobs will use a pass load um, air gun. Um, simple reason, it's much cheaper. For those ones here, you can use the standard um, impulse nail gun um, gas cartridges. They're available in each shop in New Zealand, so you can get them everywhere. It's the little ones, the same will be used for braid nailers. Same gas, works fine. Um, yeah. So, pretty much insert them, they just go in here, chamber, you see the opening from the, the, the plastic is on the back, there's a transporting little lever in the bottom here, close them up, pull the trigger once so the gun is activated, done, Poof. okay. Um, obviously here same thing, put it in, open so you can see the nail. Close them. Like you. Close to it. Boom. That's a single action fire because we have to in New Zealand. Alright. So here we go. You, that's uh, just a standard trick bait flashing, just as a sample. Put it on the edge wherever you need it. Then you go on with your gun. Boom. Fit them to your liking. 
I usually always explain our students left and right first to get a straight line. Bang on in the middle if you're on your line and then go staggered always. Huh? Same thing here. Stagnate. Okay? Boom. So, standing seam. Obviously, just so it's that way, easy for me. Goes on here. And you got the heights in here. You see the heights in here? So that gives the clearance from the standing seam. So that here is a 25 mil. Obviously, some, some of you use 38 or 32 mil standing seam, um, depending on the heights, but that gives you a nice clearance. Go nicely onto the seam and shoot the nail there and boom, done. Okay? So that's one. No magic the same. Oh the top. Done. Your seam is installed. What do you usually do in the end so you make sure that nothing actually comes up? You just go over the top a little bit, huh? So you have nothing sticking up here. It all has to be sunken into it. Alright? That's about nail guns. We go guys that now we go to the Fosco nail gun so that's a 15 degree nail gun we open it up quickly so this one is um, set up different so the plastic is on top obviously here um, you can see that there's a big lever on the bottom so that's transporting on the nail not on the plastic like the other guns um, we close that baby up here lock that in here obviously then if I I don't have to pull here, um, I do have to pull here, but you pull the trigger and then you stay on the trigger. You can scoop way faster than with the other guns, so depends what you're doing. Some of you will need them to go double times or double times. So then on here, the lever on the back here. You have to physically change that over here on the back, take that out again, otherwise it's um, not legal to sell, huh? okay? So that one here is now single action, so you have to physically press the button once, you can't go in like that, hey? One, next, alright? That's all in here in the handle to set up. Okay, different nail gun. 15 degrees, different names.